You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back here with yet another video. Today, I got you guys with yet another tier list. I, like I said, my last video when I did the MCU tier list, I will be doing more things that I want to do on this channel. Like, after the face reveal come, I will be doing IRL content on this channel. I will be doing tier lists of all type of random things that I really like, enjoy discussing from NBA, anime, rap, whatever it is, music, whatever it is, bro. I will be doing a lot of different stuff when it comes to this type of thing. So, if you guys really mess with that, all you gotta do is like and and subscribe but yeah today i got y'all boys with a naruto art tier list what i actually also have coming very soon which is gonna take a while um is anime characters tier list and i'm doing that with other people so if you guys like the videos when i do it with my friends and shit like that all you gotta do is smash breaking this through the like button now we'll be coming out as soon as possible but today we do have the naruto arts and i will be doing these in tiers and i kind of got these in order pretty much from the first to the last and then yeah, it is what it is after that. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to discuss before we hop into it. Like the video, subscribe, I think I said that. But yeah, let's go ahead, hop straight into it. So, first things first, like I said, I got these joints in order. Land of the Waves. If you know what this, this is like the Zabuza arc. So yeah, if I was ranking this, what would I say? Bro, when I talk about Naruto, Naruto arcs wise it don't got no misses but the way they break it down is way deeper than the way I break it down like tuning exams and Kona High Crush I consider that to be one arc and then a lot of this stuff when it comes to like Itachi and Pain that is literally considered one arc so yeah and then the war arc is split up into a lot of different parts so I would consider the war arc one arc but it that is way longer than one arc that really starts to make a lot of sense but yeah that we're gonna pretty much try to do it the way they got it land of the ways what would i rank that i think land of the ways is really really underrated if we talk about naruto i'm gonna throw it in a for now because it's top tier but i know what two is gonna go in s i'm gonna try to make sure only two go in s for now but i know what two that would be right now so yeah for now a is gonna be top tier S is gonna be like the tier that like is just like ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like unbelievable. So yeah. Tuning, tuning exams, I would say that's an A rank. Land of the Ways had a lot going on. That's what the first time we see Naruto going his cloak. That's the first time we see them going on a mission. We really thought the mission this show was gonna be completely different based off this art, but I'm not gonna lie, they really changed it up after this art, but like this arc was really, really good. Really, really good. Tuning exams. Arguably, uh, a lot of people's favorite arc in Naruto, surprisingly. But um, it's still it's a really good arc. You got Rock Lee uh, versus Gara. You got a lot of different things. You got the forest. You got the little test. The test is actually pretty underrated. But yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on in this. Neji versus Naruto. Naruto versus Kiba. Um... You got Sasuke versus the dude from the sound or whatever. It's really good. It's some really good fights in this joint. A lot of good stuff happened in this arc. A lot of good progression. A lot of good character development. A lot of good stuff happened in this arc. I would say it's A. Konoha Crush. Now, this is, this is in my opinion, the best part of the tuning exams because this is where we finally get to see Orochimaru in full-fledged form. He starts bringing out the first and second Hokage for one nigga. Crazy. Bro, this is yeah, the Konoha Crush. You could, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Splitting these two up is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. For me, it's crazy. I'm gonna put this above tuning exam because it's better. But usually I consider that to be one art, but it is what it is. Search for Tsunade. In my opinion, I, I was rewatching Naruto a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. Search for Tsunade. It's up there. Uh, is it as good as these other three? We have a lot of tiers, so I'm going to make sure we use these tiers. I'm going to put it in B. I'm going to put it in B. It's a tier. I can honestly say it's a tier below all three of these. All three of these are amazing, amazing arcs. I'm going to put it right there. Very, very good arc, though. Very, very good arc. Sasuke Recovery Mission. This actually surprised to everybody. This probably has my favorite fight, and it might actually be my favorite arc. Such a good arc. Um, it has so much going on from the character development of Sasuke character development of naruto they start introducing things like itachi which is a crazy good character uh the sound for all different type of things the curse mark 
but that fight with Naruto and Sasuke, that that might be the best fight I've ever seen in anime. Crazy fight. And like I've rewatched it, and it's crazy how good the animation is on that fight for how old that fight is. But yeah, I would say that is an S tier arc for me. For me, that's an S tier arc. That's being honest. Next, Kaze Kage Rescue Mission. Now, this includes a lot. See, now this is why I would say these two are together because this includes a lot. Not only does this include the fight between Data and Gar when he's protecting his village, this includes when they're taking him to take the tail beast out of him. Then, after they take the tail beast out of him, you got Naruto, Sakura, uh, and that old lady they all fight they fight Sasori and Daedara so Sasori fights so Sakura and they actually have Sakura doing stuff in this arc <laughs> you know what I'm saying they actually have her doing stuff so she's useful so I I gotta give it at least a B man it's a really good arc I'm gonna be real with you it's a really 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 good arc now when I'm re-watching Naruto that was the last arc I really saw um so Everything else from here is going to be really, really based off of memory. Now, it's a couple of things that I've seen multiple times, but a lot of it I haven't really seen multiple times. So, right here, the Tenchi Bridge. This is kind of when... Isn't this when they fought Orochimaru? I'm pretty sure this is when they fought Orochimaru. I would say this is in the tier of this. I don't know if it's as good as this, but I don't know if it's a whole tier below it. Because there's a lot that happens right here. I believe this is the same arc... This is the same art that they see Sasuke for the first time since that. That was a huge moment. They fight Orochimaru. Orochimaru fights this man Naruto, and Naruto goes into like six tails, I believe. That was a really crazy thing. And a lot of stuff happened. They they team up with Sai. Sai is now part of the team. A lot of different things happened in that. So that was a very, very important. It was actually one of the more important arcs on this list. Next one is the Akatsuki suppression mission. Um now, right here, I don't know if this includes when Asuma dies or if this one does. If this includes when Asuma dies, this is in B. If it doesn't include it, this is in C. I'm gonna throw it in. I think it's in. I think it's gonna go in B because this is. I'm pretty sure this is when Asuma dies and this is how Shikamaru. This is also when Shikamaru gets to, um, you know what I'm saying, gets his revenge, which is a huge thing. This is when Naruto learns the rising shuriken, which is a huge thing. So, yeah, I would say. I would say that was big. Next, Atachi Pursuit mission. Mission. I don't know if this was before these or after. I'm pretty sure this was after this for sure, but I don't know about this one. But yeah, Atachi Pursuit mission. This is when he fights Daedara. He kills Orochimaru. A lot of things happen. I believe he fight. He fought the Eight Tails in this. He fought Orochimaru. He kills Orochimaru. He tried to get the Eight Tails. He didn't get it. He gets his uh his group together and stuff like that. He also goes to fight. He fights Daedra. He almost dies to Daedra, which is one of the one of the more underrated fights in the show, in my opinion. Um, so I ain't gonna lie. I'm giving out a lot of Bs, but Naruto is actually a very, very consistent franchise with their arcs. I'm gonna be real with you. This right here, when it comes to how good it is, people will probably say it should be S. But it's way too forgettable for me to put it in the tier of the two arcs that I'm going to have an S. So, I'm going to put it in A for now, but it's a really good arc. From learning, bro, from, I don't know if this is, see, bro, they're, they're not including, if this is like Itachi's backstory, Itachi's backstory is top tier. It's not, not really a debate. Itachi's backstory, Kakashi's backstory, very, 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 very good. Very, very good. Kakashi's backstory is better than his character. Like, like that's how good Kakashi's backstory is. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, Kakashi's backstory, crazy. When they show how dedicated he was to the village, crazy. This is S. This is S. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I might have way more. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. All the pain arc shit gotta be in S. Because this is pain arc. This is pain arc. This is pain arc. This is pain arc. All the pain shit gotta be in S. So let's break these down. Let's break these down. Let's break these down. Should I put this in order? Pain, Assault. This would go next. This would go there. This would go... This would go here. That's the order I would go for that. So, when it came to Itachi's backstory, I went over that. Jiraiya, this was crazy. This is crazy. Because this is gonna... The Jiraiya backstory with Nagato is 
the best backstory in Naruto. I, I ain't gonna lie, Nagato is probably the best character, best character from the stuff with Yahiko, from the stuff with Jirai training them from Yahiko dying all the way to that man Jirai going to the village hit village of rain, hidden in the rain, whatever it's called. And he's like trying to figure out what's going on there and then he figures it out and he figures it out too late. He ends up having to fight his people that he ended up teaching. Oh man, that, man it's so much happened to that. And then we see Jiraiya die. Like this this is almost as good as the pain, main pain part. I don't think it is, but you know what I'm saying? It's up there. Then you got the pay arc right after, cause you know Naruto gotta get his vengeance. But like we now know, like Nagato is not like completely evil. Like he's doing it for a reason. But at the same time, but like Naruto don't know none of that. But like it's a lot of stuff going on. Pain comes to the village. He killing everybody. Naruto he trying to learn Sage mode. Pain running through everybody. Kakashi, Tsunade, everybody. Naruto show up, boy, he, hey, that's one of the craziest entrants ever. Then you see Naruto game, boy. Naruto was fighting. He was fighting. Naruto had to step in. Naruto had to see that with his own eyes. Naruto started going crazy. But he low-key wouldn't beat him. He couldn't beat him. And then Naruto, in the middle of finna go nine tails, he actually learns who his dad is who his mom is that was hey no hey the no, hey, the pay arc pay arc is crazy bro the pay arc is crazy it's crazy how much stuff happened in pay arc i'm gonna stop drooling over naruto and i'm gonna move on to the next arc 5k kage summit you get i can see people arguing it's up here i'm gonna say it's up here for right now very good arc sasuke is just different you know what i said sasuke is just different he's running through everybody ride kage Hokage, whatever you want to be, Kage, he's running through you. Kakashi, he's running through you. Sakura, he's running through you. The only person that he didn't really run through was Naruto. He even fought Danzo, ran through him with, like, yeah, Infinity, like, Sharingan, like, and we know how OP Sharingan is, like, he's, he's running through you. It's that simple. The next arc, I think this is, like, Naruto training to get the Nine Tails chakra and shit like that, so... I would say this is actually not a bad argument. It's C. I would say that's C. I would say that's C. I would say that's C. And then this is after, I believe this is after Naruto has learned. I'm pretty sure this is, but I don't know what, what what's all in these arcs. If this is the arc where he like, if this is the part of the war arc, I'm gonna just put the war arc all together. I'm gonna just put the war arc all together. No, 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 that's cat, that's cat, that's cat. I'm gonna put the, all the war arc all together except for one part. Don't put all the work all together except for one part. one part. Except for two parts, actually. I would say this part and this part should be above it. I, no, this part is even better. Because that's when they fight. This is when they fight Madara. The, the Madara part is the best part of the war. Obito and Kakashi part is right there, especially Kakashi's backstory. Kakashi's backstory is damn near S. Madara and Kakashi's backstory is damn near S. Madara, and then Kakashi versus Obito is right there. I wouldn't say it's as good. The main war part is actually really good in my opinion because that's when they like going against all this stuff. It's just really lengthy, so I don't think it's as good as when they're like really going into it. So yeah. And then Kaya shows up on the scene. That's like two tiers below everything, to be honest. But yeah. It is what it is. Right now, it S looks a little hefty, but like it's like a portion of an arc and two arcs. All this other stuff is really just two arcs. This is one arc, this is one arc, this is one arc, and this is a portion of another arc. So this is like three arcs. This is like pretty much the rest of the arc, and this is Kaguya. Kaguya is just down here. Um, I ain't gonna lie though. Um, the ending of Naruto, pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, does Kaguya strikes include, bruh? Bro, they, they, bro, this is bad, bro, because now Kaguya Strikes includes... Nah, we're not including that. Um, we're just going to include the Naruto and Sasuke fight with this. Yeah, we're going to include the Naruto and Sasuke fight with this. If this is Naruto and Sasuke fight with the wedding, that's A tier. The Naruto and Sasuke fight is S tier. 
but if you combine it with the wedding, it's A tier. It, the wedding is like, it's a really good moment, but it's like not nothing crazy. It's not, it's not nothing crazy. It's really like a, just a joyful moment, like a cool thing to see. Type shit. But um, Sasuke Shinen, I don't really remember. I think I skipped both of these. They're not on the left. They're not. They're not as bad as this. I think this is really just showing like what Sasuke does, like after, after he fought Naruto. I'm pretty sure. I didn't really watch this, so I'm not really gonna rank the stuff I didn't watch. But yeah, that's pretty much how I rank the Naruto arcs. If you didn't realize, I'm pretty passionate about the Naruto arcs because if you don't know, I'm gonna be real with you. Naruto is a real reason why. I actually do YouTube, bro. It's really, like, when it came to Naruto being so motivated, bro, that really motivated me. And having the right motivation with YouTube is really big. So, yeah, it's not the sole purpose, but, like, it really was a huge motivation. Watching Naruto when I was, like, playing 2K17, when I really wasn't getting that many views, really wasn't getting that many subs, it was the motivation to just never give up and never quit. Like, shit, like, it might sound corny, but like it's just facts. It's just facts. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much my tier list of it. Um, I kind of wanted to spread this out a little bit more, but like, if I did like all of the, if I did like all of this in one arc, I have some of it in S, I have some of it in A, some of it in B, and then one part in B. So I probably would put it all in B if I kept it all in the same arc. I just can't do it for that arc, bro. That arc is just so inconsistent. It's just so inconsistent. It's so inconsistent. So yeah, I would say it like that. I was, I would just say it like that. So yeah, that's my arc. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, like I said, I can do. I got a lot more videos coming soon. I'm gonna be trying to do a tier list every other day. So I'm trying to make this backup channel as consistent as possible. So yeah, um, I really would appreciate it if y'all boys leave a like, subscribe. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fist, man. Am I doing, man? Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah. <laughs> I get high as fuck every day I think I see you